By the way, I do wonder. Up for a game of SpongeBob? Bring it around town. SpongeBob, stop it. So if I'm in the air, out of curiosity. Yeah, I've Bring heard about the three-minute run. Around town. Which might be kind of unfortunate for. Um, I imagine some of the developers are kind of sad to hear that that they Bring probably they put so much work into say, into fixing yeah. all of this game's bugs and making it a bit more sturdy, and then day day one or maybe before day one, someone beats the game in under three minutes. But I, there's still gonna be speed runs that disallow that glitch, so it's not like that big of a of a loss. SpongeBob, stop! Oh, I think I know why they added the jump now. I have a theory, and a very, very cynical theory about why you can jump with the sponge ball now. I feel like a new sponge! Uh, yeah, because the... It feels really wrong by being able to, like, move around, like, platform with the sponge ball now. But if they can't get the physics to work right for this portion, for instance, where you SpongeBob, where you bounce off of this car right here, whoops, that's just me messing up the camera. The bandage they can stick on it to make it seem fixed is they just let you jump. So instead of having to bounce off the thing, you can just do this. You don't need to actually be able to jump off of the bounce off the car anymore. Yeah, you don't because you don't bounce enough. They couldn't recreate the physics right, so they just gave you the jump ability to be able to jump over there. Uh and they don't and they didn't even amend the tutorial to mention that you can jump. I think the question is what it is rather. What what is SpongeBob bringing around? Yes, yeah, so that's my cynical take, though, on the SpongeBob physics. Which I meant is pretty cynical, but... And why else would they have added that? Because you didn't need an original game to do anything. And they probably didn't add anything that you, anything where you now need this ability to do something. Which, I mean, they could have. Maybe they did add some kind of new SpongeBob arena type of challenge. Although, the movie game beat them to it, if that's the case. But, if they did that, then why- That still wouldn't necessitate making you be able to jump. That would just necessitate maybe more mechanics that do funny things with the sponge ball. That's how you bounce around. Sometimes the robots just don't bounce around, and sometimes they do. Climbsicles. They should reposition the car so work the new physics. Yeah, I mean, I imagine they tried to get the new physics to work. I mean, the physics engine they're working in here is pretty different one. In fact, I think THQ made their, from Heavy Iron, made their own physics engine for this game, maybe, I guess? Or they used one they had already developed for themselves back then? I don't know they're being a port body Or, uh, um, what is it called? Porto... Porto head? And now they're using the Unreal Engine, which presumably has its own physics and whatnot. So, I, if they were using a, an engine developed by someone else, or a physics engine developed by someone else already, there's probably not so much they can do to tweak the physics to make it work. So I guess it's just working with what they had. I guess that's part of the issue with remaking this game in an existing engine, instead of making a new one from the ground up. This door is locked from the inside! Who would do such Changing a thing? station? I thought that was a porto head. Well, the... Um... Like, porta potty types of things. I was always wondering how big this door is. But yeah, and they also could have just, like, tweaked the level design a little bit. I wouldn't have been that angry if they did. What? That's weird. There are no ice physics on here anymore. I mean, not that there were any, like, serious reasons there to be ice physics here to begin with. 
I think it's the same engine as Scooby Doo Night of 100 Frights. I think you're right, actually, because I forgot about that. Because didn't they have some files left over from Night of 100 Frights in there? I've never seen that game, mind you. But yeah, you might be right. Even then, though, the physics for the SpongeBob might have been made for the ground up just for the game. Because I don't think there's anything else in the in Battle of King Bottom that uses physics like that. Hey, there's that big gun. Big pinwheel looking thing. Roll, roll, roll I always find that roller sponge line really satisfying. Okay, it's because he, well, he's saying roll, roll, but he's rolling the R's too. He's rolling his rolls. I don't think I ever figured out until now that that was why I like that. By the way, do I normally have like 12,000 shiny objects by this point in the game? Maybe I do. Also, well, what's making that shadow? Oh, that's the shadow of the. Windmill, it's interesting. Ninja is used in the other popular games. Hmm. Renderware engine, okay. Jeez. I wasn't actually even trying to go to the hole with this thing, but okay. Meow. Yes, thanks for I appreciate Gary having more animation. Not done. Doesn't that mean I don't like his eyelids being separate the way they are. It Meow. looks weird. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? You'd figure there'd be one, more than one place in the entire city to get to the rooftops, uh -huh. but... There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Yeah, I followed some of the stuff in the original... Uh, some of the unused stuff in Battle King Bottom. Wow. Like, the TCRF page has lots of cool stuff. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? <sighs> I can get through this. Although, I don't remember... I mostly remember the like SpongeBob related unused content, not so much the um Oh that gap looks big stuff from other games. My favorite thing was there were some unused okay, credits, I'm like definitely not joke making credits. That jump. One person was listed as the art detector. How is that I wanna be an art detector one day. I th I think I could take pride uh -oh, in that. More robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Huh. This building casts a really dark shadow. So, do shadows not fall in SpongeBob? I don't think SpongeBob is actually affected by the lighting. Like, you can't see the shadow on SpongeBob's body anywhere. That's interesting. I ever feel anything this in Hunt Rides felt similar? Probably. Like the entire intro cutscene of this could be doing. Yeah, that sounds right. I think that was it. I want to see if the physics this works. It doesn't work. Again, I can't. I don't. I mean, maybe they just didn't. There wasn't much they could have done. But the SpongeBob physics doesn't work. And they clearly just added the jump as a way to stick a bandage on it. It's sad. I realize it's not necessarily all like them being lazy or whatever. But the end result is also that you have. A sponge ball and levels that clearly aren't made for each other anymore. It's like leaving aside the context of this being a remake. Get Sandy. Head and it's really off-putting. Because if I play this for the first time, if this is my first time playing it off the bottom, I'd be thinking, man. The SpongeBob portion seem really badly designed because the levels aren't designed because the levels are designed for literally different physics than the SpongeBob physics you have here. That's weird. They change the color of these platforms. <laughs> these be purple. Oh, finally to play Sandy too. You can finally see the third character. Number one in the Bikini Bottom scavenger okay. hunt. Three years running. Oh, thank you. Here's a silly question.
、サンディを呼んできて、煙突のドアに行ってもらうんだね。了解。マオ。They didn't dub Gary. They didn't dub Gary. That's interesting. Aller chercher Sandy et se rendre à l'entrée de la cheminée. Fait. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. I figured Gary would have a different voice. Oh well. Off to Sandy. Oh, the, the bus station doesn't light up when, you, when it's activated anymore. No d o u b l e cat noise. That's sad. I mean, it's voiced by a person. Um, Gary's voiced by Doug Lawrence, isn't he? I think. Oh, huh, they changed the sound for the kick. Ah, you don't float when you do it anymore. I always like that. Like, you can still do it on the ground, though. I always like that. Although it looks a little bit less polished. I don't know what Texan accent sounds like in other languages. Probably not too weird. Although, one thing is, in localization, sometimes accents will change. Like, Sandy, I don't know. Since Sandy, her character is literally being Texan. So, Sandy might actually have a Texan accent in every language she's dubbed in. But, for instance,、um, Dinga Dial from, from Crash Bandicoot. He's Australian. He's supposed to be Australian. Although I don't think it's ever mentioned he's supposed to be Australian in the games. And he's actually voiced with a different accent in different languages. It's like in in Spanish, I think he sounds Mexican. I think he has a really stereotypical Mexican accent in Spanish. I wouldn't be surprised if he has like a Quebecois accent or something in French. Here's what said Tom Kenny. That's what it was. I mean, basically, everyone else is voiced by La Doug Lawrence in this show. It's not a bad guess. I guess Gary's universe is a American. Gary is one of the two characters in the show with a confirmed ethnicity. Or nationality, I guess. Oh, but believe me, I've heard a Texan accent in French. Shoo. That's, that's an experience. In fact, we could hear that right now if you wanted. We could, we could hear a Texan accent in French from Sandy. I've heard a really exaggerated Texan accent in French, though, and it's. It's interesting. I, for, I'll stop for, I almost forgot to go to the Sea Needle, though. Let's say rebuild the bridge. Wait. I'm gonna rewatch the stream for a second. In fact, I'll wait, I'll wait for the game to load while I'm looking. I think it said rebuild the bridge. It did! That's not to rebuild the bridge. Game! Minor details. Ooh, the fog here actually makes sense. Ooh, this is our first encounter with Chucks. Even though we have an, we're not gonna get an introductory cutscene for them, which is kind of weird. Just sitting there. Why is it characters in this game adjusting their pants? The Let's characters do that in the idle animations. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tikis and shiny objects just outside the windows. I imagine there's someone that refers to that particular portion of downtown Bikini Bottom, like that part part of the game, close to the entrance to the sea needle, as Crochet Corner because of what SpongeBob said there. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. I don't think I was right. You know that I'll that. give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you did, can break all the tickets here, did they always capitalize everything in the original? I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tickets, Mr. Krabs? And why does the kerning seem weird on the words that are colored? Like the word tiki here, it's highlighted. It's. The, it looks like there's not much space between the and tiki's. Uh, 
because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You got a deal. Beautiful. I can't talk to someone twice in a row, and that bugs me. Smash all you know, walk away and go close to me. your troubles, I'll give you a golden spatula. Wait a second. Smash all the tiki's and for your troubles, I'll give you a golden spatula. Oh, he, he says spatula. Okay, just want to make sure it's important to his character. Sandy doesn't have the strongest accent, but I kind of want to hear it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking what Mr. Krabs would sound like. Bonjour, Abu, Mr. Cox. Uh, j Sandy's accent isn't too strong anyways. That didn't sound overly strong. Oh well. I couldn't really make out her accent there. I do like having a graphical pause menu though. I might consider that an actual upgrade over the original. I don't know if... I think it could have looked prettier than this. And it probably should have locked off areas I haven't accessed yet. But I like the idea. I just think it probably could have been done better. That's weird, it doesn't look crusty grab. Okay. And boy, oh, nice little bounce. I like that. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. The I don't know who everyone is. But... Uh Oh, you can actually break um Tika's the way back up now. I like that, that's good. Something that I, I it makes sense that they fix, but kind of disappoints me. Is Let me still do it. You still dive and going upwards. Yeah, do, the dive, the bungee jumping doesn't work that differently. Although it used to be you could actually like, you could do some kind of weird glitch where if you waited a little bit longer, if you wait until you're going back upwards to dive, then you could actually do a bunch of dives repeatedly, which is actually my preferred way of doing things. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. But here it doesn't let you do that. But at the, I mean, it was clearly a glitch, so I don't, I'm not angry at them for fixing it. Why do I have such a hard time hitting these guys? Take that. The underwear is clear. I know this. Fresh like a spring breeze. I wasn't like that eager to look that close at sometimes underwear. Also, you can see the little. Picture. I thought that was supposed to be a map, not just a random picture of the King of Bonnie down there. Could be wrong. Boom. Yeah, uh, so, the weird thing is, it used to be... Oh. You could actually see... It's, uh, I think what it was before is SpongeBob's pants are actually got, like, pulled back. And you could see his underwear underneath it. Whereas in this version, it seems like his... Pants actually stay the same, and the underwear just like comes out of his pants. Oh whoa, where'd the splash go? Hold up, Chuck, you saw some splash. There you go. Oh, it disappears really fast now. Though. It's electric looking. New dialogue. As long as you don't wear clearer pants, I guess. I, feel like I should probably be, take care to actually like read aloud any chat stuff I'm resp Sometimes responding to because I don't have a chat visible satisfying. in the video, push, and anybody push, watching push, the re-upload of this is not going to know I responded to a lot of the time. Ow. I wonder if there being like a twirl of um. For shiny objects here, that seems different. I don't really know how... I feel like I have less control, like a lot less control, over... Boing. 
where I go though. I think I think large because I feel like I go up and down way faster. Hey! Like the actual vertical distance distance I'm covering might be a lot bigger or something. I'm not sure. And it feels really difficult to. <laughs> I'll I'll re read what I just slapped down in a second. So, I don't know how, for instance, I would actually avoid hitting those thunder peaks. But <laughs> my name is Chuck, so I thought you were talking directly to me. It would be interesting having a nickname, sharing a nickname with an enemy in a game like that. And I can't do anything here because I don't have a cruise bubble, because that is the task literally titled to come back to the cruise bubble. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. It's weird how. I, this is a little nitpick, but it bugs me. It used to be when somebody said, here's a golden spatula, it would appear as they said that. Now it doesn't. There's more golden spatulas in the deep blue sea. Be on the lookout. And it doesn't even make a sound when they appear. Golden spatulas feel a lot less, like, celebrated in this game. Which I mean, isn't that big of a deal. But I notice it. So we're coming, in, coming up on three hours here. I think I'll probably at least finish downtown. And then I'll probably call it a night. Although, in fact, speaking of that, I'm actually going to get some water right now. I, I literally have a water bottle right here, so I don't need to like leave or anything. This stuff is some real endurance types of activities. Just sitting in place, sitting in one place for hours for one. But also um, talking for literally hours. Like you need water for that, and your mouth gets dry. And I'm probably used to talking for an hour at a time, but three, shoo. It's new for me. Huh. Those things shake a bit different than before, I think. Like, little, little things like that that I noticed. It's kind of funny. Oh! Well, that's weird. The window didn't close. The window's still open, but there's nothing coming out. Oh, huh. It's not fast when you last hope. Take these two. They actually get, like, squished, though, which I like. That's a nice detail. Okay. Shine, I'm sure this is my fault. I still have a hard time controlling the camera for some reason. I, I just tend to move the wrong way. Huh. The animation for Lasso is a lot smoother, but I feel like it slows down to even slower than it was in the original. Eyes are run out of time. Oh, yeah, see, oh, I, I talk about that weird kerning issue. There's no space between the word karate. There's no space between the word karate and kick at the end there. Although in that case, I think the girlie just forgot to put a space. I like how they're trying to show these en show these tiki's, but two of the three are out of focus. Yeah! I don't think there's an antenna here. Yeah, her last one is just so fast. It's weird. Whoa, that was a weird experience. Karate kick. What is that? That is weird. It's more like a... It feels like a grappling gun more than a lasso. Also, she does this. If I don't hold the button, this happens. Oh, 
Oh, that's weird. She doesn't actually have like sideways physics. She only physics. Does she physics around either way? No, there's no physics here anymore. Ah, I like that. There's no physics to the swinging anymore. That's stupid. I mean, Texas. Really though, I'm really bugged by that. I love the feeling of like Sandy's actual weight swinging from things in this. It's very rare in games that you actually get to like have like the experience of, like weight as you swing from something. Also, yeah, you have to hold the button. Whereas here you don't have that. Yeah, as long as as soon as you let go of B, she she stops. But why does she like zoom to it like it's a grappling hook? Like she zooms to it and then drops down. I find that weird how all the time and whoa, she snaps in half. That's cool. I'm getting dizzy just watching. Claps for messing well, that's with not how they used to work. The idea I thought was that she would lasso their hands. Yeah, she does that, except they just snap in half anyways, I don't know. Okay. There's like a lot of the time though when the game tries to... Ooh. That's interesting. Sandy can lasso things in the air now. She has an animation for it too. It's kind of a weird animation. That's interesting, though. Mr. Krabs' voice is different. Is it actually? I, I felt like it was the same. I I, I haven't paid that much attention to Mr. Krabs in the original. Okay. I didn't better. notice differences in his voice. By the way, can you stand on him? Yeah, you can. The increased fidelity for, like, the anime, uh, for, um, the collisions in this game probably resulted in... Oh, you can also just double jump and hold A. I don't think you can do that in the original. Well, might release, or might result in more places that you can, um... That's interesting. You can let go of the... Maybe you can let go of the lasso and do it another time? Interesting. But the increased detail and in the collisions might make sequence breaking a lot more feasible in this game. Even though this game doesn't have as much of a tendency to let you jump on weird bits of geometry, there is more geometry to, whoa, to jump on. I miss physics. I miss physics too. Life is better with physics sometimes. Except when it's not. Uh, I'm not used to having to hold B! I mean, there are parts where physics is not better, like the throw fruit don't need physics. I think the, th the physics for throw fruit is a strict... is strictly a loss. Can you get back there? Like, there's just no reason to do it. I'm jumping on there. But I really don't know why they would get rid of the physics for swing on stuff. I can't think of any obvious reason for like fixing bugs or anything. all the paths here. Ah, that really bugs me having to hold the button. It's actually a little tricky because I need to switch from, I need to move my finger from lassoing, or from the jump button onto the lasso button without letting go of the jump button.
That is weird. Like, it looks to me more like I'm... Like, if you actually show me a character doing this, what I'm about to do here... ...and told me that they were, like, using a grappling hook to get from point A to point B, I would actually consider it pretty okay. Because that's what it looks like. Someone better make good use of all these. You know, Mr. Krabs will get money out of them and give us spatulas for them at least. There is one little place that I'm missing. Uh, yeah, here we go. This always bugged me in the original. This spot here, where these tiki's are. There's no apparent point to that there. That section there that you can blow up, but you can open that area up. I like to open it up. Oh, whoa. I nearly... Oh, whoa. Was that there? Did that just appear when I got up here? Why? There's already the box here. What's the idea there? I'm not sure. I don't know how it is I actually want to... get to here. Oh! Well, if you grab a ledge while using the lasso, it bugs out a little. Okay. I'm tempted to try to jump onto this thing. So satisfying drop the movies. Okay. Up to the rooftops we go. Tops. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Also, I live on the other side of town, and for some reason, I'm on this rooftop here. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Oh. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? Was that the idea? Uh, was he always talking about this antenna here? I don't think always really misunderstood. Much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Yeah, see? Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. Uh, the camera looked like it would zoom down the antenna that's right next to us here for the a second. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Is the joke with Larry that he has, like, no muscles in his upper arms? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Well, he wants to replace because it's bad. Why do you wanna... Why are you gonna try to use it yourself? But also, for some reason, his... Antenna just happens to be a spatula. Please replace my antenna at the far end of these rooftops. How are you here? Hi. <laughs> you can very forcefully punch people in the face now. The most satisfying push. push. <laughs> that was interesting. As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. Ah, uh, that feels a little like unpolished. Not even like a animation or anything like that. Like the Han starts to take you and then it just instantly restarts. Okay, it's kind of weird. 
Ach so, ich will das. Ah, okay. Do you know some of your, um... Oh, whoa, what? That's the first big difference I've seen. What I was gonna say is that some of the trampoline beds are tan like in the original and some are gray now. But there's no spatula here. I was wondering if they would do what the original did and put an oh, invisible wall between between here and this building here. Oh man, Sand Mountain is about the size of these buildings. That's interesting. But now it's just not here. My guess is that the spatula for that doesn't appear unless you make the the swingers appear to swing to there. That's my guess. Boy, had to be glad to have this back. This doesn't make sound anymore. Lots of sound effects are gone in the game, it feels like. Also, is the tip of this thing wood? That's weird. Why is it wood? Ah, Sancho doesn't make his weird face when he does the ball bounce anymore. I love the face he made when he did that. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. And we actually need to play those sandy for this anyways. Just saying I still see patching SpongeBob's clothes on the clotheslines, although they're very, very large, those clothes. I'm kind of curious. Do these have collisions? They do. That's weird. Huh. So you can stand on these things, but the game just tries to take it away if you... Or to... Tries to take it away if you go on those? Kinda weird. Who made the Spongebob jump sound? That's weird. Oh, that's weird. Not... This time it made bubbles? The truck's a lot more expressive. Someone better make good use of all these. Interesting. But it really looked like it made some kind of like electric effect when it hit the ground. Yeah. It made bubbles in the cutscene. Interesting. That feels kind of cool, admittedly. She dead? I'm yeah, probably. Just it feels kind of broken, almost. They'll be able to just jump up to enemies and... ...lasso them. Because I don't need to, like, land safely next to an enemy to attack them anymore. It's like the source has man going inside of these tubes. So I'm jumping all of them. It's like a cat singing everything they can find. Okay. Yeah, it's a very different experience last night than this. Or, um, the last night I mean to say. The graph effect looks really different from those dogs. It's a really different experience than um, swing in this game. Rebuild the bridge? Yes, let's rebuild this bridge. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing now the... Um... Okay, you, ha you can't hold B beforehand. It also jumps on Mac before you. Although you don't have another... You don't have another jump animation after you swing. Okay. 
That's a little unpolished. Skybridge! I was right about the spatula only being here. In that particular moment. That's a pretty good solution, I think. That's the first, like... I, that's the first kind of, like, almost level design difference I've seen, I think. I just found it weird how the game says defeating Tiki's. You can shoot stuff at me? Well, I can actually, I can't actually ask me for the other I was gonna feel all cool by doing that. Ooh, new grounds for sequence breaks. Also, that stuff's clipping into the wall. Yep, look at that. New sequence breaks. All the new details in the collisions make for new things to jump on. I think this will be a lot of what um, speedrunning in this game relies on for a while, at least in the beginning. We'll probably find more interesting glitches too, but I think for a while it'll rely on things like, like this where the more detailed collisions let you do things that weren't possible in the original. It's weird, you can lasso twice in the air, but only twice. So if you miss it for a moment, you can... I don't know what it is. Well... Yeah, if, so if you hold A for the second jump until you lasso, and then you let go of A and then press it again, you can lasso a second time. May the lasso, may the lack of physics of the lasso is an attempt to patch up how in Sandy's dream that one lasso point makes Sandy loop around because it's such a steep jump. Maybe, but I feel like there are other ways of fixing that. Like, that's a problem in one place in the game. That doesn't merit changing the entirety of the mechanics of lassoing, I don't think. I got the work in the worst case. I think that what you should do then is just modify that one part of the level. There's nothing wrong with that. Can I jump on top of this light here? I can't stand on it. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, every other case to me seems to be, every other case that I'm changing some kind of mechanic seems to be, well, okay, the, them trying to address some kind of bug that was found in the original, so I mean, that's possible. Even still, the way they, the way, she could at the very least animate a bit differently than what she currently does. That's how you're saying it. off of the G love into the other robot. They could at least animate a bit differently to where you don't, like, grapple to the hook itself in a really awkward fashion. That's interesting. In the original, these, um, the things I bounced off just then, they won't even, um, bounce, bounce you until... I don't think they would bounce you. Or maybe it was just one of them. Maybe it was just the one that you lowered. That one wouldn't make you bounce until it was actually lowered. A new places you can jump around. I don't think you get here in the original. Just exploring. Oh, something that doesn't have super high fidelity collisions. Where's that purple shiny object? Whoa! Like, what I'm doing right now is probably exploitable somehow. 
I think I want to jump on top of this stuff. I can probably somehow use this to get somewhere I normally couldn't, or to see me break something or something like that. Get up there. I don't really know where I would try to this brick to. Like, there's something going on here. To say the least. I'm exploring. I don't know if there's much to do from here, though. I don't think I can make this jump. Oh, I can. Wow. So yeah, you can explore four corners of the world this way. And how practical this is for any kind of, of um, speedrunning or anything like that, I don't know. But you can definitely get around in ways that you couldn't before. Now where do I go? Only one, only way to go is down, I guess. Well, that's interesting. Hans took me. <laughs> Thanks, Hans. Hans saved me. Ha! I just tank the, I just tank the missile. That's amusing. I could have also gone to the left. I think maybe. I don't know where I would go from there. Explore all around this place. The sequence breaking that I've. Not necessarily sequence breaking, but at least. Okay, that's better. Weird little place I can get to that I discovered. Not know where I might be able to get to from there, though. Oh, look at that! New animations. I appreciate that. It's weird to me how like bold and bubbly the, the shiny object counter in the top right is. Oh hell, I didn't. I don't know that happened. It's kind of weird how it really suddenly just then did that, but okay. Hey, 